This is Newlyweds. They are the OG swinger couple in my life. I would say they set the gold standard for what I think a successful swinger, long-term swinging couple looks like. And uh, I know a lot of people agree with me. So We don't really find ourselves to be that active, especially these days after, I mean, a long life of different phases of being active, like sometimes going to lots of parties, sometimes not going to many parties, sometimes only going with people we know. And so like now, maybe because of COVID or whatever, maybe just also our, I, I hate to say our age or something like that, but I'm not seeking it out so much. Mm -hmm. circulation we've had so a very be like, long fulfilling history right so we're not out all swinging like all the time there's been times in our life we were partying all the time or going out all the time or had dates all the time and nowadays it's a little more selective and with people we'd like to be with more like people we like to be friends with the swinger lifestyle isn't a commitment it's a opportunity a journey mm -hmm. it's a journey it's been for us we've been together for 34 years we just had our anniversary and the journey has changed tremendously, both individually and as a couple right. over that time span. Because I think in the beginning, when you're learning, there's first that you're learning, you're discovering, it's exciting. Uh, then you kind of start seeking out your tribe and you're looking for your people and maybe making mistakes or having successes during that period, right? But then your tribes change over time. People mm -hmm. move away, people get out of the lifestyle. And then maybe your tastes have now changed and you're seeking something else. So you've, you know, gone down a new path and then, uh, you know, a pandemic can wipe three years out of your history <laughs> like that. So, um, wow. we are now more geared, less geared towards going to parties and meeting new people, uh, versus being with the people that we found are quality people that we really like to spend our time with. We're down for meeting new people, but they're a different type of person. It's like not, seeking it out, going right. to big parties, looking for, sure. you know, someone versus looking for <clears throat> our, our people. Yeah. And, and just like for any couple out there who might not even have had any first swap or swinging date, tell them what it's like as a couple to get ready to, for a date to like pick up a, a uniform. What's it like the excitement amongst you? butterflies butterfly even with people we know yeah we still get butterflies oh we, sure of course we, in in the early days we'd be so nervous just nervous excitement butterflies in the stomach like crazy right getting so excited but if you think about the fact that that still happens to us mm -hmm. how fortunate is that 34 years into a relationship to get butterflies yeah. like if they were coming out for the weekend you're going to spend you know spend with the nervous excitement all week long is so mm -hmm. like you're so giddy about it you're like oh right. yay cleaning the house getting ready knowing it's going gonna be grocery a shopping fun for the party sexy, sexy stuff. weekend <laughs> right yeah you're on the same fun. team you're sharing this right right oh, yeah that's, that's amazing right. it's crazy we're picking out each other's outfits and you know just or texting each other you know i'll be at my office or something and he's texting me and i'm like oh my god i'm so nervous or, or texting them with them or you whatever. Know, yeah. I, so I just think for anyone who isn't familiar with the fun of swinging, who, th who still thinks it's scary and like the, you know, you're like clinging to your partner as you go forward and come back. It's just like being, feeling alive, like a teenager again, in a way you're just I like, oh, but you're sharing it with someone, someone who's going to split the Uber with you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> if you're going to date an Uber, like it's just, that's different. That's dating as a two person. And I think some people don't think, sometimes they think swinging is always swapping. And swinging oh. is sometimes dating as a couple. Oh. Like yeah. dating, having fun as a couple. For sure. The, you know, one of my favorite things is going to breakfast the next day. <laughs> Whether we're still yeah. with the couple or not, we go to breakfast and we're looking around at everybody going, you yeah. have no idea. <laughs> you know, we just had this epic night and we just look like Joe. and Actually, that table over there, they look like they did right. the <laughs> <laughs> Uh, First of all, life is still life, okay? You're not just a swinger doing only swingery things. You're living, you, you're working, you have family, you have um, issues and things that come up. So there's sometimes even in a, in a regular just marriage where you're going to be more sexually active than other times, right? But especially in swinging, um, there may be a large chunk of time where that's not what's going on, but it's okay to take a break. You don't even have to verbalize that break. It's almost like life says you're taking a break right now and then life frees itself up and you go back to whatever that fun you know opportunity was right okay so like sometimes the flame can burn a little like lighter and then sometimes brighter so it's not always 
a bad thing to take a break, but it might not even be noticeable you're taking a break. You're just not seeking those things. Yeah, you know? you're definitely. You could be working on a project on the house. You could be working on a project at work. You could be just in a moment with issues with in your just regular life. And yeah. suddenly you're just like, uh, oh, I'm like running out to a party tonight. <laughs> but then one of your friends asks you to come over for dinner and then you go over and you're like, wow, I really missed you guys. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that, was, that was a surprise. Now that somebody's mind fucked listening to this thinking, what do you mean there's no jealousy? I want you to describe what you do <laughs> when you're watching your partner get a fantastic blow job. Right? I I'll oh say, okay, on the opposite end of that, I actually can sit there and watch her give a blowjob. I just like pull up a chair and like sit there. And, <laughs> sorry, am I, making you, am I making you feel uncomfortable, man? Because um, <laughs> I could totally watch her do it. She loves, and it's right there. And you know. <laughs> Now for me personally, I love watching him fuck another woman because I know what it feels like. Mm-hmm. I know all of his moves like the back of my hand. I know what it feels like internally, mentally, physically. I know that I'll be watching going, oh, yes, that one, do that. Oh, God, I love that, right? And that's like my own internal thing. I'm going, oh, I love that part right there when it's happening to me. So I get excited that it's happening to my girlfriend because I'm like, oh, that part, right? That's fucking hot, right? But I love joy, right? It's like, hey, I got this fantastic toy. You want to try it out? You try it out. You put it back, but you try it out. You know? (laughs) I love the feeling of just a bunch of bodies, especially when everybody's really into it and really likes each other a lot. Just the feeling of lots of bodies all mashed up on top of each other and just rolling around and anybody, anywhere, anything, whatever. We're all just rolling around having fun. And (laughs) interesting. Do you have any five, I would say five top ways or advice that you could give to anybody who wants to be successful in this lifestyle as a couple okay those are good now is there any things that you would say to to be cautious of how did you guys get over the feelings of jealousy that might have come up throughout the the journey all right and if you want to catch more of the uh, mr and miss newlyweds they have a whole youtube playlist where i did an interview with them last summer and you can see a lot of fun topics it's in a bunch of separate videos and a whole playlist i'll put a link to that in the description here as well you can find my podcast on any of the apps you see on your screen